Hi, today we're talking about fabric construction and hopefully at the end of this short little video you'll be a little bit wiser on the warp and the weft of woven fabrics. So here we can see on the left hand side of the screen a hand loom and we can see the thread bobbin sitting on top of what is a piece of fabric under construction uh, on that hand loom. And then looking to the right of the screen, we can see a more mechanized system of creating fabric. We can see machine looms. Um, this is more common, obviously, these days, but there are still some amazing weavers who are out there doing it both professionally uh, and also just for themselves uh, in a more amateur setting. So, you know, both types of fabric are available or systems of constructing fabric are available. So thinking about how we actually weave fabric together, let's have a look at the construction of the fabric. Firstly, we have the warp, which is those initial uh, runs of thread that run the full length of the fabric. Uh, so you can see that they're running downwards in a vertical, um, vertical pattern. And then we have our weft, which is running across the fabric, so side to side. It runs across, over and under the warp fabrics, and then spins at the end, creating a selvage, and then is woven um, under and over the opposite warp threads. So the selvage at the extreme edges is um, a, a little tougher. Um, that's where we actually have that sort of loop over, finishing the fabrics quite neatly um, on either end. So let's have a look now at a piece of fabric. <clears throat> Below we can see the warp running top to bottom of this image. So we can see it here. We can see double rows of uh, warp thread here. And then we can see single lines of warp thread running here. By changing the number of warp threads and weft threads, we're changing the texture of the constructed material. So now having a look at the weft, so running side to side through the piece of fabric, again we can see double threads being used uh, on some rows, and then on other rows we can actually see a single line of thread being used. Uh, and again, this is assisting in that creating of texture in this fabric. So looking at this fabric visually we can see that there is texture um, and the thread, uh, the variant of colour in the thread is creating that colour differential uh, but the actual changes in uh, the warp and weft uh, percentages is what's giving us uh, a little bit of val uh, value as far as texture goes here. These are the images that we used uh, today. Thank you for those people who've supplied them. Thank you very much for listening. We hope that you are somewhat wiser now about the construction of woven fabrics.